If you clicked on this video, that means you're having some trouble setting up your email on Outlook. And I totally get it. It can be a bit tricky, especially if you're using a custom email. So in this video, I'll guide you through setting up a business email and adding it to Outlook quickly and very easily. And I will try to do that in less than seven minutes. So let's go. All right, so let's just pretend that I have a car wash company named Car Wash. And just think, which email would look more professional for my company? Carwash at yahoo.com or info at carwash.com? Yeah, I would choose the second one as well. While there's absolutely nothing wrong with Yahoo or Gmail, I mean, they're both really great free email providers, but having a custom email like info at carwash.com is a better fit for businesses. It can reinforce your brand's identity, build client trust, and overall, it's just more professional. So the name after the sign at, like in this case, carwash.com is called a domain name, which you need to choose and register. Usually this domain name matches the business's website domain as well. That's why if you have Hostinger's web hosting plan, you won't need to buy an additional email and custom domain because they already come with a plan. But if you don't have a website hosting plan and only need an email, I'll show you how to create one right now. To create a professional email address with a custom domain, you'll need an email hosting plan. To get started, click the link in the description down below and you'll end up on Hostinger's landing page. Now, just scroll down a bit and choose the best email hosting plan for you. If you're just starting out, you can choose Business Starter. If you need more storage, go with the Business Premium. All right, once you choose the plan, you must pick the number of mailboxes and duration. I recommend going with the two or four year ones as they eventually become cheaper every month. Now, afterward, log in or register and fill in your information. And also to get 10% off, make sure to type in our code HA10 over here. And lastly, just secure the payment. Okay, great work. Once your purchase is complete, you'll start setting up your email plan immediately. This will take you only a couple of minutes. So hit start now and your first step will be to set up a domain, which I've already discussed with you. Now, if you already have a domain at Hostinger, you can select it here and the email setup process will be fully automated. However, if you use a domain name you previously bought from another registrar, the domain setup will be manual. And it might take a bit longer, but hey, don't worry, the process is still very simple. Now, if you have zero domains in your pocket, the choice here is pretty simple as well. You can click here and just purchase one right now. Just type the domain that you want and see if it's available. As you can see right now, carwash.com is already registered. Now, if you want, you can try a different domain extension. For example, instead of .com, use .org or a localized one, for example, .uk, or just pick a completely different domain name. That's totally up to you. By the way, you can check the domain name availability in Hostinger's domain name checker as well, if that's more convenient for you, that is. Here you can even ask AI to help you develop the right domain name to suit you. Okay, so once you find the right one, click on buy now and you'll purchase your domain. Then just finish the registration and while well, you're halfway through. And now moving on, you'll have to create your email account. Your chosen domain is already here as you can see. So you just need to provide the name, for example, info, and then create a password. And that's it. Now that your email services are activated successfully, you can easily connect them to other apps and devices. So let's do just that by connecting the email to Outlook. Click on Connect Devices, then choose the recommended apps and select Outlook. Once you do that, you'll see the configuration details of your email account below. And moving on, to add the email, go ahead and open your Outlook account. Then go to the top left, click on the plus sign and select Add Email Account. Just insert the email address that you've just created here and click on Continue. Then you'll be asked for your IMAP password. But don't overthink it, it's just your email password. So just insert it here and then hit on advanced options. As you can see, it already contains all the IMAP and SMTP information. But if any information is missing, that means Outlook couldn't fetch auto discovery or in other words, automatic configuration protocol details. But don't worry, you can insert the details manually. Go back to HPanel and you'll find the host name and port number right there. 
Then you just have to insert your email name into the SMTP username section and your email password into the SMTP password section. And just know that the same process applies to other devices as well. If you're confused about what IMAP and SMTP are and why you need them, well, to put it simply, they are protocols responsible for managing email synchronization and sending out emails. So IMAP is used to connect email hosting to manage emails that are there, while SMTP ensures that any email you send from Outlook is delivered to the recipient. Well, all right, now back to Outlook. Once you're filled everything in, click on Add Account. And you're basically all set. You can now access your newly added custom email account at the top left corner. And there it is. Now you know how to create a business email and add it to Outlook. And I actually did manage to fit this into seven minutes, so that's pretty cool. Now I hope you found this useful and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.